Yo, what is up? What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Adventures of Simi.G and we are here in 323. It just dropped last night and I, I hopped right in. I just wanted to get a quick video out of my first impressions and hopefully you guys like it. So we're going to show you a bunch of different features that are in 323. Some things aren't in yet like persistent hangers and stuff. We'll learn about that as we go. But without any further ado, here are my first impressions of 323 Wave 1. Oh yeah, so here we go, brand new customizer. Yeah, baby. Look at look at that guy's face, so fresh. Okay, so we got the DNA here, body type. Okay, so body type is male or female. And we got, I guess DNA will be meshing, right? Let me see what this is. Okay, so that's skin tone. Let's uh, keep it the same. That looks pretty close. Freckles. I got a little bit of freckles. Let's put that there. They're, they're not that visible. So, uh, yeah, that's like Morgan Freeman right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty good right there. I like that. Okay, man. That, 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 this looks pretty cool. Okay, sunspots. I don't believe I have any sunspots. So uh, let's keep that low. Don't worry about that. The eye color. Oh, there goes my old face. I want to blend in my old face here. Let's see. So, what? How do you? Um, okay, so there's a cursor there. Oh, all right. So, let's max it out on everyone. Max that one out. Get the cheeks. We'll max that out. And the forehead. Kind of doesn't really look. Oh, okay. I see the difference. All right. Yeah, it does kind of look like he's changing got to keep the traditional face you know what I mean we'll, we'll put our own finishing touches on it so how do you do the individual I saw people sculpting how do you do the sculpting oh okay wait this is the hair right here still looks like they don't have any hair I could represent I don't really want straight hair I don't got straight hair you know what I mean look like uh, Carlos over here Carlos Santana yo oh this there we go I like that. That is dope. We got, we got the fade. Yo, my man got the fade. He got the line. Oh, that, that's kind of fresh right there. Okay, okay. I'm liking this new customizer. Yo, oh, we got afros too? I could rock the 1970s look if I wanted to. Okay, we got afros. What's this one? Okay, just short and that's a straight army kind of fade, I guess. Uh... They look nice, but if I had to go with it, I'd have to go with this. Yeah, this fade is nice with the line in it. Oh, that's fresh right there. Okay, okay. I like that. I don't think we have any beards, though, that represent. But, you know, I got to represent with the beard. Let me see. Uh, that's uh, a little round. That's full-out beard right there. That's the biggest one they got, I think. We're going to have to rock out with that one eventually. Oh, we got the full goatee, the full, full mutton chops. Okay. Have our man looking like he's in Red Dead Redemption. Which one do I want to go with? Okay, we got the LeBron James. The regular goatee there. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, the full one is nice, but oh, it just doesn't match with the face. Uh, I don't think I'm going to rock with the full one. That's not even, my beard's not that long yet. And I cut it by accident. Uh, let me see which other ones we want here. This don't look like any. Uh, oh, these are the eyebrows. Okay. Can't really tell. Okay, I can see it. One's a little thicker. Okay, so this is how you do the color of your hair here. Oh man, we could go full gray, full salt and pepper out here. You know what? I gotta give. I gotta give myself a little bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> Let me see how how we gonna dial it down a little. That's pretty good there. A little bit too much. We got the brown. Oh, this is the color. This is the color. Can I fade it into black? Let me see. Uh, no, this is all. Maybe if I go to the top here. Oh yeah yeah yeah. There we go. Okay, that's 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 a nice little touch of gray I got right there. That's just. Yo, this is starting to look like me. I don't know. I might have to put up a picture of myself. This is looking pretty close. I'm liking it. This customizer is dope. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's about my beard length, too, right there. 
that's pretty cool all right but you know i gotta add in my cheeks how do we wait not not body type there's got to be a way to sculpt your face oh wait okay i think wait no that's the skin type where do you go to sculpt your actual features on your oh, okay these circles right here probably oh there we go oh all right we gotta puff out my cheeks you know i got my nice i got i got the the chipmunk cheeks right there i like that that is perfect yo this is this this is kind of looking a little freaky right here bro <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it this is this customizer is really really good wow wow okay we got the eyebrows out this is this guy kind of looks like me man this is nice this is real nice right here i'm digging that let's give myself my ears uh what's features features oh this is makeup uh yeah we're definitely not going to do anything with the makeup but if you guys wanted makeup this is the the area you would do it in i guess features but uh i don't see what that one two and three does All right, I guess that's it. Yo, that looks freaking amazing, guys. I like that. I'm satisfied with that. So let's hop up in there. I spent a little bit of time on the customizer, but uh, you know, I had to. This is one of the main features of the of, of 323. So without any further ado, let's go to my home of Lorville. Okay, guys, we are in the game. We are in this the verse, as they say. Oh, look at that. The mini map at the top left. That's pretty cool. Looks in the direction that you're looking. Very responsive. We still have the old inventory system. So item banks, I guess, are not in game yet. I haven't seen any. Uh, and I guess we, we uh, put on our uni the way we usually do. Oh, man. Look at this face, man. That is such a good looking face, bruh. I, I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to rock out with the gold. Might as well. Got to look good. Play good. Look at the F's. We got F's everywhere. The new. Oh, this is the new interactive. Uh, personal interactive system. What they call it? The Piss. Piss Path or whatever. Anyway, it's all a new UI. We got F's everywhere. You press F and you just grab. You don't have to no longer scroll through things. I was thinking if you hold it that you will still see it. But if you just press F. So place is my... Um, custom default so i will place if i press f from now on that's pretty cool if you hold down you get the scroll wheel that that scroll wheel looks pretty good ah i like the new interaction system there we go personal interaction system thanks for holding the elevator for me my guy oh look at him he's pretty interesting he's got purple hair oh he's got the purple beard that's another reason i didn't want to take the full-blown beard i knew everybody was going to take that he's got he looks pretty interesting all right, guys, so Persistent Hangers is not in the build Welcome. yet, so we're going to have to call our ship the same way we usually system. do. I think I'm going to go with the C-1. I've really been falling in love with the C-1 as of late, so let's deliver that. And let's see how it is to load it out. Please visit us again. Man, that mini-map is so cool. All right, so this is another update in 323, which is the new Moby Glass. As you can see, we have contracts over here. You can actually see your vehicles now, I guess. If you have a vehicle out, you'll be able to take a little peek at, at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got to take a look at this again when we got our vehicle. Here's our health app, and it tells you what, what how you're feeling and everything. We got pressure. We got Atmos. It even tells you the gravity. Okay. I think it always told you that, but it's just more in your face here. We got radiation, temperature, tells you the reputation of the area you're in, which is pretty cool. And the notification area is there. And if you click this arrow, it'll take you to the corresponding app. So this is the contract manager. We got 20 deliveries. Holy crap. Uh, wait, uh, I guess these are a bunch of placeholders. Uninitialized. Yeah, it's just a bunch of placeholders. Well, it is PTU. We're not really going to do any missions as of yet, but this will be where all your new contracts are. We also have all the little apps here on the bottom, but I want to see the vehicle. Oh, this looks pretty much the same. So nothing changed here. 
and this is one of the new additions like I said we already pointed it up in the top left but this is the mini map so as you can see here we're at Tisa spaceport and man you can zoom all the way up to the new star map everybody's been clamoring over this new star map they actually fixed the readability the visibility of the letters so you can actually read it now which is pretty cool but yeah I mean I think it's a step above it's still a little transparent but I mean that's to be expected but if you zoom out look at this it tells you plain as day what planet you're looking at I like that and it even has the moons and everything that's a nice little cool touch we can zoom all the way out to everything in the whole Stanton system. I wanted to see. It looks like you can zoom way out. Maybe that's going to be the way you're going to zoom over to Pyro. Zooming way, way out. But that, that's, that's pretty cool. And here, you search anything you want. If you press any letter in any combination, look at that. The results will come up. We have Lathan. We're going to head over there and see if we, if we can loot anything. If anything changes there. I want to see if... There's any freight elevators at the distribution centers. I mean, not distribution centers. Sorry, this is regular outposts. We're gonna hit up the distribution centers later, but uh, let's let's take a look at the outpost. See if there's anything new there. All right, we're gonna call Welcome up our ship and uh, head on out of here. Where are you, Crusader C1? Call. Vehicle. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Okay, guys, so taking our first steps, or should I say flights, into 323. Whoa, oh, this, this hangar's a little small. Whoa. All right, so this should be in a medium hangar for real. Okay, so now that we're flying out of Tisa Spaceport, this will give us another chance to look at another new feature in 323, which is Master Modes. Very big, very big feature, baby master modes which is going to take your SCM speeds and separate it from your nav mode which will be your quantum speeds now so if we take a look at the top right of our HUD it says SCM mode so right now we can use our guns we have shields but we cannot go any faster than around maybe 200 to 300 this ship right now is barely even hitting 200 but if you hit B, which used to be quantum now you flip over into nav mode and now this is where your ship will be able to hit its higher speeds in the range and also how you would uh, quantum as you used to in the other patches in the old patches but now if you can see we if we boost we could probably get up to around 300 all right so quantuming is just like any other time in every other uh, patch Nothing really to change there, but uh, yeah, it's just going to be getting some used to. You don't want to take off your quantum drive when you're done jumping because your high speeds are only available here. All right, guys, so another good feature here in 323. I had to turn the music down so you could hear it, but listen to the engine sounds. It's so great. It's so wonderful. This is nav mode. You hear how loud it is. And now we switch into regular SEM mode and listen to the difference. It's more humming. It's like jet engines. Sounds great. I like it. I really like it. Going into another feature here in 323 is one of the biggest features that one of the first ones they talked about, and that is the new EVA system. So let's head up out of this ship and test that bad boy all these doors and crusader ships and there is a bug now in the PTU where your cursor disappears it's hard to uh, use things but we got it wave one is rough and this no cursor thing sucks but uh yeah here we go let's test this out alley you oh yeah look at that it's like we're Superman Oh, that's cool. That is smooth. Turning around was easy. Oh, you even put your hands out to brace yourself. Push the new push-pull. Okay, cool. And look at that. We're decoupled. I'm not inputting anything. We just keep floating. That is cool. The nice little trans around. The transition to turn around is nice, too. Oh, man. I didn't know if I was going to like the new EVA. I, I like standing up, but no. This, this is beautiful. Wow. Majestic. 
Look at that, you lay on your back, you can rotate, turn around, that's pretty cool. Straight into the ship, low! That was smooth, okay. You won me over. That was smooth, oh, that is nice! That is nice, oh, look how, look how smooth and silky the transitions are, the turning around. Okay, I do love the new AVA. Wow, look, it's like we're swimming, guys. I'm not even inputting. We're just floating. We're just floating. All right, let's see how... Let's get precision here. Float in here. What happens if we go in on our side? Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa, that... Well, you're not jumping up and down like you used to on the ramps. That is nice. Oh, okay, guys. That is beautiful. Okay, I just want to head down to an outpost here. We're going to go to Lathan. See if there's anything new. Alright. Here's another new feature, guys. As soon as you put your landing gear out, it kind of s limits your speed. So you have those cinematic landings. So now, you're going to want to put your landing gear as late as possible when you're landing. To get that nice cinematic touch. Hybrid V will love. But yeah, you see, I put it on too late, too early, and we just kind of floated there. But that, that's a nice little quality of life feature. No more going flying with your landing gear out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's gonna just, it's going to take some getting used to. Putting your landing gear out at the end. But let's head out. Oh man, this no cursor bug is annoying. Man, look at that. Oh, that sunrise. Beautiful. The lights are so much more vibrant. I, I like how the lights actually stand out. Even even the, 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 the headlights up there, the regular the street lights. Those are pretty cool. Okay. Very vivid. I even heard that they put some new lights over R Corp. We're going to have to go check that out. A lot of things to check out, but I wanted to see how buying cargo here was if there is any type of uh i don't think there's any type of persistent hangers or freight elevators or anything but let me just see if cargo buying is the same exact way it's always been oh very dark in here the new the new the new ui is very crisp and clean i, I kind of like it and if you haven't noticed we have the compass at the top and the orientation on the left which is a nice little touch as well Okay, let's loot. Let's see how looting is. Uh, I guess, wait, looting might be bugged. Yep, I guess you can't loot right now. One more time. Let me try one more time. Open. Okay, you could loot. Alright, let's see how buying cargo is, guys. Oh, man, I forgot. I, I have that cursor bug. I don't feel like relogging right now. I guess I won't be able to buy cargo. Oh, man. All right, guys. This is how it is when you're testing on Wave 1. It's probably even more crazier on Evocati. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to see how that was. But I, <laughs> this face is so crazy. Let's head out to the next spot. I want to go check out a distribution center, so let's go. Okay, guys, this was the first one I've seen. Now, I know the distribution centers. I don't know if this one is hostile to us or if we are going to be cool here. I know some of them, you know, they don't like people to be around. But we're going to take our chances and see if this is one we can go check out. Coming down towards it, you can see lights from so much, so far away now. It's pretty cool. All right. So, oh, you know what? I should switch into uh, SCM mode. Just so I can get my shields back. Just in case if this is a hostile area, I'll have some shields for a little bit of protection. But I, I think the turrets are, are killer, guys. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. All right. Shields are critical. Okay, look at that. See, they popped right back. Shields popped on. It takes about 30, maybe 10 to 20 seconds for everything to switch. Okay, guys. Is that... Are they shooting rockets at me? Are they shooting missiles at me? Or is that a player? Oh, they're definitely shooting. Okay, they're definitely shooting at me. Yeah, my shields just went off. Okay, this is a hostile area, guys. 
Yep, they're shooting missiles. Whoa, let's let's countermeasure, countermeasure. Oh my god, the frames are so bad. The frames are so bad here. I kinda figured that just the distribution centers would be bad at first. Oh my god, we are at two frames per second, guys. I, this is how it feels to be AI. This is how it feels to be AI, AI in the game with a three three FPS server. <laughs> Okay, they're hitting me. They're definitely hitting me. I wonder if I could just land real quick and hop out. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm going to turn around. See, maybe I... Oh, my God. Look at the frames. I'm going to see if I could just land and hop out real quick. They are shooting rockets all day. They might have been shooting at a player in the distance. The, 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 that's what I saw. Can I shoot that down? All right. Maybe we could do a, a touch and go. There's so many doors. Look at that beautiful sunset. Uh, so I love sunsets. Anyway, yeah, there's so many damn doors on a Crusader ship, so we're, we're not going to be able to extract <laughs> fast. But let's see if we could get close enough so I could look at this place on foot. I don't know if there's any... Are there any hostile NPCs on the ground that's going to shoot at you? Because I think I forgot to bring a gun. But uh, let's go check this out. Maybe if I come in low, I might be able to be protected. Maybe come off a of radar if I go low. I don't think they have that yet in Star Citizen, but that would be cool. All right, we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. Maybe if I can land here on the outskirts. All right, guys, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. Man, the frames, the frames are so bad. Holy crap, maybe if I land right here in the front. Come on. Okay. Party disbanded. Oh, uh, did we just crash? Oh, I don't think so. Oh! They got me. With my slow FPS. So, yeah, this I think this thing needs a little bit of time in the oven. A little bit more time in the oven. Well, that'll do it for this first impressions video, guys. If you found this video informative and entertaining, don't forget to smack that like button and share it with your fellow star citizens. And if you haven't already, subscribe and don't join the Discord community. In the month of April, we will be giving away a 125A just standalone ship. And all you have to do is comment on any video in April for a chance to participate so let me know below guys are you guys in wave one did you get to test out 323 ptu what was your favorite feature added so far and what feature you guys can't wait to be added into p into the ptu mine of course is going to be persistent hangers i can't wait till we get that the cargo refactor but yeah i can't wait to show you guys so subscribe don't miss any video that's coming up well thanks for joining guys y'all already know what to do and I'll see you in the verse. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.